The topic that we are discussing today, which is uh, the emerging trends in international commercial arbitration, has a lot of significance considering the kind of amendments that have taken place in the recent past. The parliament has taken note of the fact that arbitrations in India typically have been unsuccessful. So, which is why they have come up with the Arbitration and Amendment Act of 2015 and also enacted the Commercial Courts Bill. So, on the legislative space, we are seeing quite a lot of developments that are taking place. But unfortunately, what we find is that the drafting of legislations in the recent past has been quite poor. And it, this has led to a lot of uncertainty in so far as the law is concerned, particularly in the Arbitration and uh, Arbitration Act, where the Arbitration Act itself, there are certain sections which have been sort of, uh, for instance, whether it is prospective or retrospective, that itself has led to a lot of confusion. The Act was passed as recently as January with effect from October 23rd, 2015. But unfortunately, within a short period of its enactment, there have been several controversies on whether or not the scope of Section 17, retrospective, prospective, etc, uh, etc. Et so today's session is going to be extremely important because we are speaking, going to speak about the latest amendments and uh, whether the amendments have been, uh, you know, have reached the uh, desired result and also talk about the latest trends in international commercial arbitration which uh, distinguished panel is also going to speak about, uh, which includes the discovery process and things that India can do to make institutional arbitrations a lot better so that it meets the <coughs> world standards.